Hi, greetings from Taiwan. I'm Johnny Liao. Together with my colleagues, I'd like to share a case of four mouth rehabilitation treated with mini implants, dental implants, and autotransplants. Here are treatment comparisons. For such a mutilated dentition, how would you use the mini implant anchorage? How many dental implants would you plan? And uh, would you consider autotransplantations? Here you can see with two autotransplant and one dental implant, we were able to finish the full mouth rehabilitation. Periopical film of these two autotransplants look fine at the bonding. Cephalometric superimposition showed the protrusion was reduced, the gummy smile was corrected, and the chin projection was improved following counterclockwise rotation of the mandible. And the mandible plan angle was reduced from 45 degrees to 41. The diagnosis for this lady was skeletal cuts with high mandibular plan angle, skeletal asymmetry with canted occlusal plan and multiple missing teeth, severe gummy smile and skeletal discrepancy made this lady a surgical case. Ideal treatment plan was proposed to remove the recent teeth and replace the missing molars with dental implants. Then extract one premolar at each quadrant, except the lower left, and close all the premolar spaces. OGS was also indicated to correct protrusion asymmetry. However, this lady declined OGS and asked for minimizing the number of dental implants. Therefore, we plan to remove upper right first premolar plus two western teeth to reduce the large overjet. The two spaces in the upper arch would be closed. As for the lower arch, space redistribution for three dental implants was planned. In order to save the budget furthermore, two auto-transplants were set up. Only one dental implant was left. Now this lady was happy. Let's go through the treatment progress. Upper posterior tats were installed for maximal retraction. Anterior tats were inserted for bite opening and gumming smile correction. By intruding upper right molars with tats, the occlusal plan cant was corrected as well. First auto transplant was done after nine months of treatment. After massive retraction and intrusion, it was ready for the second auto transplant. Lower left third molar was transplanted to be lower right first molar. A symmetric interarch elastic were used for midline correction. The last thing to do was the implant in the lower left area. Here are the debonding photos. Although there were three premolars in the lower left area, the occlusion was good. Final processes were done. Here are the treatment comparisons. With two autotransplants, we were able to finish this case with only one dental implant. Here is how she looked seven years after debonding. The occlusion was stable. She looked even younger than the pre-treatment records, which was 12 years ago. The autotransplant seemed very good on the periapical radiographs. Integrating mini implants, autotransplants, and dental implants in this case made it possible to achieve a satisfactory treatment result. And the best part is, we cost less, and even in a more conservative approach. We orthodontists should coordinate the treatment with the other members in the interdisciplinary team. Together, we could explore more possibilities to treat a mutilated dentition like this with more knowledge and passion. Thank you again for being interested in our case. You can go through the full article with more details on the AJODO website.